Hi friends, it's Miss Ann. I hope you guys are having a great day. Do you remember we've been talking about community helpers in our class a lot? Yeah, all the different community helpers that there are. And we sang a song about community helpers called, Who Do You See? Let's sing that right now, okay? Ready? Community helpers are everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Community helpers are everywhere. Who do you see? And who do you see here? What is this one? What is this one that you see? It's a firefighter, right? I see the firefighter with his hose, with a hose, with a hose. I see a firefighter with a hose. He puts out fires. That's just one thing that firefighters help us do, right? They put fires out for us. That's really important and a really brave job. How many of you want to be firefighters? That's awesome. What is this one? What community helper is this? A police officer. I see the officer on patrol, on patrol, on patrol. I see the officer on patrol. He keeps me safe. Police officer's job is to keep us safe. They are supposed to find anyone that's doing something wrong and make sure that they help them do what's right and they keep us safe, right? Okay. The next, what is this next community helper? Mail carrier. They deliver the mail to us, right? That is an important job. All oh, those fun packages and letters we get in the mail. That's our mail collect carrier delivers those. I see the mail carrier with his bag, with his bag, with his bag. I see the mail carrier with his bag. He brings the mail. Good thing for mail carriers so we get all our mail. Okay, what's this one? Who is this? It's a teacher, just like me and Miss Shannon. Here's the teacher. I see the teacher in her class, in her class, in her class. I see the teacher in her class. She teaches me. Teachers are important because they teach us things that we didn't already know, right? They teach us to read and to write and how to be a, even how to be a good friend, right? There's so many things that teachers teach us. How many of you want to be a teacher when you grow up? Okay, here's one more for you. Do you know who this is? What community helper is this? This is a custodian. A custodian helps to clean up the buildings that we use, but like schools and other places that we work. The custodian helps keep those clean. That's an important job. If we didn't have the custodians, who would keep everything clean for us? I see the custodian with his mop, with his mop, with his mop. I see the custodian with his mop. He keeps things clean. Maybe some of you want to be a custodian when you grow up. Really, you can be any of these things that you want to be. Any of those things, or maybe there's something else you want to be. Maybe there's a different community helper that you would like to be someday. Or maybe there's like a doctor, or maybe you'd like to be a veterinarian and help animals. There's lots of good community helper jobs out there. I have a story about a community helper. This, do you guys know who this is? What, who is this dog? Do you guys know? This dog is named Clifford. Clifford and this 
is about Clifford, the firehouse dog. Clifford, the firehouse dog by Norm by Norman Bridwell. My name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog Clifford. Clifford is not the oldest in his family, but he's the biggest. He certainly is a really, really big dog, isn't he? He's bigger than the house. Last week, Clifford and I went to the city to visit Clifford's brother, Nero. Clifford knew the way. Nero lives in a firehouse. He is a fire rescue dog. I asked the firefighters if Clifford could help them. They thought he was the right color for the job. Why is he the right color for the job? Because he's red, right? He's red just like fire engines, right? Yeah. Just then, a group of school children came in for a fire safety class. Nero showed them what to do if their clothing was on fire. Stop, drop, roll. To smother the flames, you stop, drop to the floor, and roll until the fire is out. Clifford thought he could do that. He repeated the lesson for the class. He stopped. He dropped. He rolled. Uh-oh, Clifford's kind of a big dog to be demonstrating all of that. He rolled a little too far. Uh-oh. Just then, we heard the siren. <gasps> there was a fire! Nero stayed to guard the children. Clifford and I ran ahead. He cleared the street for the truck. Good job, Clifford. Smoke was pouring from the top floor of a tall building. Clifford pushed the crowd back to a safe place. He saw some people in trouble. Do you see the people in trouble at the very top of the building? Hmm, I wonder what Clifford's going to do. Clifford to the rescue! The heavy hose was hard to unreal. Clifford gave the firefighters a hand. Wow, good thing for Clifford. He's so big, he was able to get the people out of the very top of the burning building. And now he's helping them with the hose. But then he saw that the fire hydrant was stuck shut. That's where they get the water, but it's stuck. Thank goodness Clifford was there to unstick it. Wow, Clifford is really helping out today. They had to get the smoke out of the building. Clifford made a hole in the roof. The firefighters were calling for more water. Clifford found some. He helped clear the smoke away. Wow, he's even using his breath to clear the smoke away. When the fire was out, Clifford made sure that the firefighters got out of the building safely. They were grateful for everything he had done to help. He gave some firefighters a ride back to the firehouse. Clifford was a hero. The fire chief made him an honorary fire rescue dog, just like his brother Nero. The end. And here's some fire. Here's Clifford's fire safety rules. Number one, take the number of the fire department to your telephone. Know two different ways out of your house or apartment building. 
Choose a place nearby where you and your other members of your family can meet if you have to leave the house and get separated. Never go back into your house for anything if the building is on fire. Number five, tell your mom or dad to change the batteries in your smoke alarm every year. Number six, do not play with matches. And number seven, never use the stove without an adult. Of course, you know that, right? The end.